What's the difference between the Phantom Vision and the Phantom Venom? It's actually very simple. Full ghost laces versus half ghost laces. According to Nike, 2019 is the year of the Phantom. Their two latest models are now the Phantom Venom and the Phantom Vision. The question is, what's the difference between the two and which one is best for you? Before we get into this episode of Ghostbusters, if you're interested in either of these two boots for yourself, you can click the little pop-up in the corner of the screen or the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you'll be able to pick up either of these boots below their normal retail price. First thing Things first let's start with the uppers which are similar and different at the same time let me explain the upper of the phantom vision is particularly unique in that it uses two layers of material a fly knit layer on the outside that's what you can see and then an internal quad fit system which is effectively an internal sock that spans the entire upper but it's made out of a special material it's connected directly to the ghost lacing system so when you pull those laces tight that internal quad fit material wraps your foot very closely but doesn't really have any stiffness to it it's a special material that's woven in a very specific way that when you have the tension around it on your foot because of that lacing system, it really secures your foot in place really nicely without any of that added stiffness. And then the fly knit that you have on the surface is there for the sake of touch. The quad fit is quite thin, the fly knit is quite thin, so the overall touch on the ball is on the thinner side, but because there are two layers of material, there is still a softness and I guess a slightly padded sensation to it. Obviously it has the full lace cover as well, which you may or may not like. That's a personal preference thing. And then when it comes to touch as well, a very unique aspect of the Phantom Vision is the very heavy texturing you'll find across the entire upper. It has this very gritty sensation to it where there is legitimately extra grip on the ball. And then moving to the medial side where you have this large triangle design, you're gonna have even heavier texturing to provide even more grip on the ball, but without a sticky sensation. In comparison, the upper of the Phantom Venom is arguably a lot more traditional. It's a fly knit base material with a grippy texturing on top, which does sound quite similar to that of the Phantom, but the way that this product feels on your feet is entirely different. The fly knit base itself is quite thin, noticeably thinner than what you'll find on the Phantom Vision, almost borderline mercurial thin, but not quite there. There's still a softness and a slightly padded feel that a mercurial wouldn't necessarily provide. The upper is reinforced by way of fly wire cables that run from the base of the sole directly into the lacing system on either side. So when you tie the laces tight, it really does a good job of securing your foot. And the overall fit, which we'll talk about in more detail later, is a lot more snug and arguably more secure on the Phantom Venom versus what you'll find on the Phantom Vision, which is still very responsive, but doesn't necessarily squeeze your foot quite as tightly as what you'll find from the Venom. It does have an off-center lacing system, which kind of plays into the whole power boot thing. And to go along with that, you have this kind of bottom half lace cover, and of course the precision power striking element that looks like it's made out of rubber fins, but the fins themselves are just texturing with the same type of kind of silicone grippy coating that you'll find across the entire upper. Same goes for what you have here in the forefoot with this kind of honeycomb pattern. It's just grip all the way throughout, but it's grip in a different way than what you find on the Vision, which is all through texture. This actually has a stickiness to it, which I guess is a little bit more traditional in regards to what we've come to expect from power boots with rubber elements. There's no physical rubber here, but that's really what it ends up feeling like. So in regards to just outright grip on the ball, this definitely has a more sticky sensation, not just when dribbling, but especially when shooting. And with this striking element, it doesn't really have that bulky feel that we've come to expect from maybe an older T90 model. It's a lot more pingy and thinner than you might expect, but the overall striking sensation in the Phantom Venom I think is hard to argue that it's not better than what you'll find in the Vision. I like having that extra grip, but whether or not that's your personal preference is really something that you have to determine for yourself. Oh, and both boots have ACC but who cares? Something also worth mentioning is the cut of these two boots. The Phantom Vision is only available as a mid and the Phantom Venom is only available as a low. This obviously is gonna be a lot more traditional and arguably just more familiar feeling for a lot of people. You kind of know what to expect with this, but in all honesty, while this might look a little bit strange, it's a standard low cut construction with this kind of unnecessary collar that they've added. If the collar wasn't there, I think the boot would look a lot better and it would pretty much fit and feel exactly the same way, but they added the because that's a popular thing right now. 
In regards to fit in the heel though, I wouldn't say that there's a huge difference between the two. When it comes to sole plates and stud patterns, there's honestly not a lot that separates these two, but I do think that one is clearly better than the other, and that is the Phantom Venom. I just think that they've done a better job. It's almost as if the Phantom Venom has kind of the upgraded variation of what you get on the Vision. And that's not to say that the Vision sole plate is bad in any way at all. It has decent flexibility to it. The thickness feels about right. And the overall stud pattern, this being of course the FG layout, as I'm showing you with the Venom as well, is actually pretty aggressive. But when compared to the Venom, the sole plate just has a little bit extra thickness to it that I think feels more premium. It's a little bit more flexible as well, which I personally prefer. And they've gone for a much more aggressive stud pattern that does feel very mercurial-esque that you might not like. You might like that a little bit more. I personally would rather have a more aggressive stud pattern. You can see they've gone with these all chevron style studs, but the overall layout between the two isn't actually that different. This is just a little bit more aggressive and I feel like the sole plate just feels more refined. When it comes to weight, there's not a lot that separates these two boots, both in a size 9.5 US. The Phantom Venom weighs in at about 7.1, 7.2 ounces, and the Phantom Vision weighs in at about 7.7 .7 ounces. So you're talking about a half ounce weight difference between these two boots, with the Vision being slightly heavier. But in all honesty, I wouldn't say that the weight difference is particularly noticeable. What I will say though, is that the Venom does feel lighter on feet, simply because it's a thinner upper that has a tighter, more secure fit on your foot. So if you're looking for more of a speed boot vibe, you definitely get that more so with the Venom than you do with the Vision. Yeah, that was, that was the right order. And while it has absolutely nothing to do with fit, feel, or performance, it's still worth talking about, and that is the retail price. $250 on the Phantom Venom Elite, $275 on the Phantom Vision Elite. So these are $25 more expensive. Should that be reason to buy the Phantom Venom over the Phantom Vision? I guess it depends on how much you have to spend, but in all honesty, I don't think that budget should really be taken into too much consideration when picking between these two boots. The one thing that definitely separates these two as being noticeably different is the way that they fit and feel on feet. The Phantom Vision just has a much softer, more flexible feel to the upper especially. That quad fit system really is something special and there legitimately is no stiffness to the upper on this boot. And that's not to say that the Phantom Venom feels stiff at all because it definitely doesn't. I did compare it to a Mercurial, but it's not necessarily something that has the stiffness of the current Mercurials. It's very soft and very thin out of the box, thinner than I think you might expect, especially when compared to the Hypervenom Phantom 3 that it replaces. As far as the overall fit is concerned though, there's definitely more width to the overall fit of the Phantom Vision versus what you're gonna find on the Venom. The Venom doesn't fit like a Mercurial and then it's super tight and kind of squeezing your foot, but it does have that tighter overall wrap. So if you like that tight, more secure sensation, you'll probably prefer the fit and feel of the Venom over the Vision, which still feels very secure on your feet, but doesn't necessarily have that super tight squeezing sensation that a lot of people really like from modern football boots. So that to me is the big difference between these two in regards to overall on feet feel. And then when it comes to sizing, I'm wearing a size 9.5 US in both of these boots and the fit and length is pretty much perfect. So if you're looking to order either of them, I would strongly recommend going true to size to achieve the best possible fit. So the conclusion to this comparison is kind of a tough one for me because I really am a big fan of both of these boots. I think it's really dumb that they're both called the Phantom. And given that they share so many of the same elements, you would think that they'd feel very similar, but they don't. The Phantom Vision is more along the lines of what I would kind of describe as a really high-tech sock, super comfortable, super natural on feet, and unique with the heavy texturing you have across the entire upper, where the Phantom Venom is almost like a hybrid between a Nike Mercurial Vapor and the T90 series from Nike that was killed off a long time ago. It really is a modern power boot that we've never really seen before from the brand. I know the Hyper Venom Phantom 3 is the logical comparison, but these don't really feel too much like the Phantom 3. Whether or not you should choose the Venom or the Vision is really gonna depend on your own personal preferences though. But if you're asking me which one I would choose to wear, while I would be super happy to wear the Venom personally, just based on comfort, I absolutely love the way that the Phantom Vision feels on feet. It's the most comfortable, the most natural feeling knitted upper football boot that I've personally ever worn. And for that reason, it is my preference of these two. 
Although it would not surprise me in a couple months if I changed my mind and decided that I prefer the Venom. Both great boots, it just depends on what you want. Anyways guys, that's it for my comparison. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. And if you're interested in any other comparisons on this channel, please let me know which ones you'd like to see down below in the comments of this video. Again, if you're interested in either of these two boots for yourself, links in the description, go ahead and check those out. If you have any questions as always, leave that down below in the comments as well. And I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.